What's up guys and welcome back to the secret letters of a hacker. I hope you like the new setup. I was finally able to save myself $10 to get a bookshelf. Whoa, bookshelf, books. Anyways, I was just excited to show you the bookshelf. It's not actually what this video is about. In this video, we're gonna be setting up the Z attack proxy, famously known for as Zap. Now, if you're not familiar with Zap is, it's a widely used tool by security professionals for web application vulnerability scanning as well as manual penetration testing. So what we're going to do is we're going to configure the proxy to be used in our browser. We're going to configure the browser certificate, which will allow us to intercept HTTPS traffic. And we're going to set up different browser profiles so we can keep everything nice and neat. If you don't already have Zap installed, you can install it on any operating system, which is really convenient. Now, this video is meant to be a step-by-step -step guide, so take a moment, download Zap. It might be a little bit boring if you're not following the step-by-step -step tutorial, but either way, let's get into it. Nice camera action. Before we can start pen testing, looking for vulnerabilities, doing bug bounties, we need the right tool. What we're going to use is OWASP Zap. Come over here to Google, type in ZA Proxy. The first thing that comes up is ZAProxy.org. Go ahead and click download now. And whatever operating system you're on, Windows, Linux, Mac, go ahead and download that installer. So I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows installer. Go through the installation. Once you do that, you'll have your icon here. Go ahead and open it. So before we can start using this, let's go ahead and configure our browser. So go ahead and open up a run box. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Firefox Profile Manager. Now, this is just a preference for me. I like to keep my profiles separate and go ahead and click OK. You'll see what I mean is here I have my different profiles for Firefox. So when I'm at work, I have my work profile, I have my pen testing profile, and I have a Zap profile, as well as you'll probably have your default profiles. And then also by default, you'll have use the selected profile without asking at startup. I like to be asked which profile I want to load. I like to keep my bookmarks, plugins, and add-ons separate from each other depending on what I'm doing. Go ahead and create a new profile. Click next and you can call this whatever you want to call it. We'll call it OWASP Zap. Click finish and then go ahead and I'm using Firefox Developer Edition. You might be using just Firefox. It doesn't matter which edition you're using, but go ahead and click Start. And we can click out of the default tab. So this is our new Firefox profile that we're going to set up to use for Z Attack Proxy. And what we want to do is we want to install an add-on. Go ahead and click on the hamburger wheel, go to add-ons, and what we're looking for is Foxy Proxy. Now what this is going to allow us to do is we're going to be able to turn on Zap Proxy with a single click of a button versus having to go to the hamburger wheel, going to options, scrolling down to network settings, clicking on settings and turning it on and off. So let's go ahead and install Foxy Proxy Standard. Click Add to Firefox. Click OK. Now over here in the toolbar, you'll see Foxy Proxy. Click on Options. Go to Add. We'll call this Z Attack Proxy and i like to specify the port which i'm going to use 7070 
our proxy IP address is going to be localhost on port 7070. Then click save. You can configure this whichever ports you like to use, call it whatever description you want. Click save. And then now we have Z attack proxy. We can turn it on, turn it off, all with a simple click of a button. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And we can close out of these. And what we're going to do now is we're going to configure our browser certificate and finish the proxy setup. So go to Tools, Options. We're going to come down to Dynamic SSL Certificate. Go ahead and click on Generate. It'll generate you a new certificate. Click on Save and then click OK. We're now going to import that certificate by clicking on the hamburger wheel. Coming down here to Options. Clicking on Privacy and Security. Scrolling all the way down to the bottom where it says Certificates. Click on View Certificates. Click on Import. Click on the OWASP ZAP Certificate. And we're going to trust this CA to identify websites. Click on OK. And then click on OK. Now come back over here to Zap. Click on Tools. Go to Options. Come over here to Local Proxies. Now by default it should be on Local Host. And you can specify whichever port you set up in Foxy Proxy. Now click OK. And now you have your proxy configured to intercept HTTP and HTTPS traffic, as well as your Firefox profile. As you can see, the passive scanner is already started. So if we go to google.com, you should see it fill up over here in our site tree. Thanks for watching this video on how to install and configure Zap to intercept HTTP and HTTPS traffic, as well as how to set up different Firefox profiles. Please consider helping the channel out by subscribing or giving the video a thumbs up. Stay tuned because we still need to talk about active scanning techniques, spidering, keeping sites in scope, as well as my favorite, useful Zap scripts written by the Z-Attack proxy community. Until then, you can find me on Discord, you can find me in the comments section, or you can hack me outside. How about that?